Hey guys! Welcome to Couple. Please like and subscribe if you like the video. HMD Global silently unveiled the Nokia 3310 4G in China, without revealing its price and availability. It's expected to showcase the Nokia 3310 4G next month at MWC 2018 in Barcelona, and announce availability and pricing details. The Geophone, on the other hand, is effectively priced zero. Customers need to pay Rs 1,500 at the time of buying the phone, and this amount will be refunded after three years of usage. Nokia 3310 4G VS Geophone Operating System The software department is where things get pretty interesting. The revived Nokia 3310 2G and Nokia 3310 3G models that were launched last year run on Nokia SS30 and operating system, and it was very limited in terms of functionality. Now, the new 4G variant brings high-speed 4G connectivity, along with Yoon OS, which is a fourth Android version made by China's Alibaba Group. But before you get too excited after reading Android-based Nokia 3310, calm down. Android OS is optimized for touchscreen, which means, you will not be able to download and install APK files of your favorite games and apps. Barring that, Nokia 3310 4G variant in China comes preloaded with popular apps for music, books, and audiobooks. If HMD Global plans to release the global variant of the phone which also runs on Android, there is a high chance it may come with strict version of apps such as Facebook and WhatsApp, which will give it an advantage over Geophone. The Geophone, on the other hand, runs on custom version of Firefox OS called KaiOS. The phone comes with Geo suite of apps, such as Geo Cinema, Geo Music, and Geo TV, Geo Money, and voice activated Google search app as well. Nokia 3310 4G vs Geophone specifications both. The Nokia 3310 4G and the Geophone comes with a 2.4 inch QBGA display running at 320x240 pixels. There is no word on the chipset that powers the Nokia 3310 4G, but it is paired with 256 MB of RAM and 512 MB of internal storage, which is expandable using a micro SD card. The Geophone, on the other hand, is powered by a dual core SoC, paired with 512 MB of RAM and 4G the internal storage, which is expandable using a micro SD card. Also, Geophone has a front-facing camera, NFC, and a bigger 2,000 mAh battery compared to 1,200 mAh one on the new Nokia 3310 Ford Guaranese. Rest of the specifications are more or less the same. Both smartphones feature a 2 megapixel rear camera, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, 4G Volte, and micro USB port for charging. In case of the Nokia 3310 4G, support for Wi-Fi hotspot is also present, something that is absent from the Geophone. Clearly, the Geophone looks better overall, especially when you consider built-in voice assistant, battery capacity, NFC for cashless tap and pay option, and yes, more RAM and internal storage.